We're, you're at the Celebrate Israel Festival, celebrating Israel's independence here in Southern California. Uh, what faith do you follow? I f I'm Jewish by conversion. Uh, conservative. So. What inspired you to convert to Judaism? Were you born Christian? I was born Christian, but um, there was always something missing. And uh, Judaism, I searched, and uh, Judaism always seemed to fill that need that I had. And I just uh, followed what my heart told me and what I felt that um, Hashem wanted me to do. And then I uh, went through uh, my conversion, and here I am, feeling very proud to be a Jew. Uh, what country are you from? I'm originally from Panama in Central America. I grew up uh, speaking Spanish and uh, some English. I um, had many um, Jewish friends, and uh, that was another um, reason why that inspired me. Friends. My Jewish friends um, that I went to high school with and to uh, college with, and um, they inspired me, and I always wanted to be part of the tribe. Now, did you convert in uh, Central America? No, I converted here in uh, California. So, uh, what kind of reactions did you get? Was there any resistance to people uh, from the Jewish faith? You know, I haven't um, gotten any react um, resistance from the people from the Jewish faith. And even my family has been very, very supportive. They asked me uh, 20,000 questions as to um, how we think and, uh, and, the, and the things that we do and uh, the festivals that we celebrate. and. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a, a very, if you want to put it this way, a very good, a very good ride. You know, it, it, it is um, a smooth, smooth ride. It's been very good. Uh -huh. And where do you go to uh, pray? Do you belong to a congregation? I belong to a congregation up in the high desert um, in Victorville called Bar Bar um, Shel Mahala. And um, it's a small congregation, but, um, and also I go to uh, Ami Shalom in Covina and um, both congregations have been very welcoming and very embracing and um, have helped me um, go into my growth as a Jew. Are they Messianic Jewish congregations? No, they're not Messianic. Um, the, uh, Ami Shalom is a conservative Jewish and Bamid Bar is a um, reformed Jewish congregation. Okay, so those, those uh, areas, both Covina and, and Victorville, there are not a lot of Jews. Do you find uh, that when uh, Christians uh, learn that you're Jewish, that they try to engage you in debate? I have not uh, found, found, found that at all. Okay. Uh, not at all. Um, in, in fact, um, uh, I work at an Air Force base and... Um, um, all, no, I work out at Edwards. And um, all of my co-workers, um, except, well, there's one Jewish person and uh, all the other ones are Christian, and they don't, uh, you know, they respect, they respect me for who I am, you know, not for my belief or for the tribe that I belong to. So, and um, I would do the same to them. And it's very, it's, it's very nice. It's a very cohesive and um, a good atmosphere that we have. So, you know. What are your thoughts about uh, Israel today? Because uh, in the black community, there's a lot of influence from either a Christian or a black Muslims who are against Israel. My thoughts are, you know, I love Israel. Even though I've never been there, I love Israel. I've always studied its history. I've always embraced it. Uh, when it comes on to, uh, to because blacks embrace or or, or uh, are much more accepting to Christianity is because of a, a constant bombardment, of the the history, uh, and um, you know they they, they kind of all, the media and, and the religious organization to target them and tell them, hey, you know, you can't be Jew, you cannot be a Jew. That's why some uh, many times many people see me, it's like you're a Jew. I'm like, yeah. Were you born to it? No, I converted to Jew. Well, what, what, how do you convert to Judaism? And I, t I and I explain to them, and um, they're very receptive. Um, you know, so when it comes down to those things, um, you know, sometimes everybody tries to uh, avoid them. But I'm fine engaging um, engaging them in the, in the conversation. And, and like I said, um, 
you know, they they are being convinced that that blacks are, uh, can be Jewish. Uh, I don't know where that came from or who was convinced them, but uh, many many of the blacks in the in, in the the American black community feel that they cannot become uh, Jewish. Do you consider yourself part of the Latino American community? Yes, I know. As a Panamanian, as a Panamanian, I'm part of. I'm Hispanic, yeah, because I, I grew up sp uh, speaking Spanish, and um, but I found a lot of Latino um, Jewish Jews also, and in Panama there's a long, uh, a big um, Jewish community, yeah, um, Sephardic um, community. Uh, in fact, I was down there, and they also have a, a large congregation of uh, Reform and conservative Jews down there. Many people are not aware that when Christopher Columbus came from Spain, he landed in the Caribbean, didn't he? He's, yes, in Hispaniola, uh -huh. and the uh, island of Hispaniola, which is, uh, you know, and that's where a lot of things uh, began, because they brought their the Catholic uh, religion, and um, they imposed it on the, um, on the Native of, uh, on the Natives, of, um, on the Indians, if you want to call it that way. And... Ever since um, people have been following it in, in Latin America, then again you got to remember, and like in Cuba they have the Santeria, which is a combination of African um, beliefs with the Catholic, uh, with the the Christian, the Catholic um, belief also, and then they they combine it and just made their own, if you if you want to put it that way, and they um, worship a lot of de deities. Um, for everything, there is a different deity, so, you know, but that's the way it is. Do you feel that Israel is getting a bum rap in the mainstream media? Oh, he yes, it's always been. Israel has always got a, um, a bum rap. Um, you know, the, the, the problem could have been solved a long time ago, but it's the intransigent of the other party, of the Palestinians and of the Arabs, that, of the Arabs, that have skipped this whole process going and lingering on and on and on. You know, we have been willing to bend backwards and, um, you know, negotiate and are, you know, even though what was there to negotiate? The land was given to us by Hashem. So why do we have to negotiate? You know, we, we, we're willing to share it, but they, they want it all by themselves. And, uh, you know, by using the the violence, what does that solve? You know, and um, the, the the media here in in this country has been very very uh, in the last I want to say eight eight years has been very very anti uh, anti uh, Israel because of the Obama administration because of the Obama administration before uh, and I don't think exactly. Obama himself, but um, you know, it's all administration and uh, also with the Clintons, it's, it, it's, it all began there and it just it's just kept, keep going on and on and on. So to me, the problem could have been solved if they would sit down and be honest with themselves. Let's, let's share it. We're willing to share it with you, but you don't want to, then adios, go away. Being in the military yourself, I mean, are you an ex-US military? Yes, sir. Uh, with the United States Air Force. Did uh, 32 years um, between active duty and reserves. So, and did you serve abroad? Yeah, serve in Germany, serve in Korea, serve in Japan, and um, uh, uh, Korea, Japan, uh, Germany, and in Spain. Sorry. And in Spain. In Spain. In um, in Spain. In Spain. Okay. Okay. Is what kind of a uh, recognition of the Israeli Air Force is there among U.S. Air Force? Oh, they're top notch. We are, is, they're is top notch. They're, they're is there respect? Uh, very much so. Really? Yeah, top notch. The Israelis are the top notch. Um, you know, I, I, with any Air Force, you, any Air Force personnel that knows about air, aircraft and it knows about Air Force, the Israeli is the innovators and the ones that, that change the game all the time so are we on the same side yes most of us no, no, i'm saying no it, it is the israeli air force and the u.s air force are we on the same side against yes we are yeah i i can't say that i, I yes we are definitely 
there are many uh, online who, who like to dredge up uh, a USS Liberty incident to, to try and separate America and Israel. But, but in this day and age, it's not going to happen because uh, most, most of the guys that I talk to and um, the guys that are still enlisted still believe in Israel, that they are the game changers. You know, any kind of modifications or whatever um, to suit us, they're always the ones. So, you know, we're always glad and, uh, and happy to have them on our side. So, you know, we're always proud to serve with them next to us. Because I'll tell you what, they got some tough, some tough training there. Yeah. Uh, well, they got some tough opposition there. Yeah. Many, many people are, are of the opinion that, that the U.S. should not support Israel uh, because in, in case of war that Americans uh, might be called to defend Israel. Does Israel need American defense from the skies? I think uh, Israel, Israel will suffice by itself. But if, we, if, if required, we should be there for them. If the Soviets get involved, we should be there with, the, uh, with, with Israel, no matter what. I don't care if it's the Soviet or the Chinese or the Saudis or whoever. My belief is that we should be there next to Israel at all times. What does Israel represent in terms of uh, the, the flag that if it were, were, were to fall to uh, the global jihad? There'll be chaos all over the place. All over the world? All over the world there'll be, there's gonna be chaos. There's gonna be so mass murders, uh, mass murdering and um, intolerance, real, real intolerance. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so endemic around the world. So, you know, I, uh, let's get rid of them you know and uh, and we have to call a spade a spade and islamic terrorism is islamic terrorism you cannot sugarcoat it and we have lived with it for too long is iran capitalizing you think on the american left to try and uh, and, and uh, break american support for israel they already did they have capitalized on it uh, during the Obama administration. All, right, all, right, uh, all that all right, money that they sent over there, there and all that nuclear um, uh, nuclear deal, you know, well, it gave them, everyone. up to a certain point, the, the upper hand. So, you know, where we go with it, we have to we have to change that. So, that's my opinion. No. But Iran claims that, right, that they don't have nuclear weapons now. Would it be better to fight them now rather than when they have nuclear weapons? They do have nuclear weapons. We got, uh, I, uh, you know, it's been proven. They, they still have nuclear weapons. Did they get them through Obama's uh, acquiescence? Because uh, of all the um, the, the, the wishy-washy uh, so negotiation that Obama did. did. So they you still maintain a good Obama. arsenal of, nu of nuclear beautiful. weapons. So. There's supposed to be a flyover. Yeah, so many right. attractions. Oh, to celebrate Israel. Anyway. Right. Thank you, Yermiyahu. Fantastic.